Still on COVID-19 uh, pandemic developments, the House of Representatives had a plenary session yesterday and a couple of issues were raised. Joining us now is our Nottam Bureau Chief, Amadeen Uyi, to bring us up to speed on what happened. Thank you very much, Amadine, for joining us. Amadine, can you hear me? Good morning. Can hear you loud and clear. Good morning. Good morning, Felicity. Could you bring us up to speed on some of the key presentation and motions that was raised at the House? Now, uh, remember that the House had been on recess for almost five weeks. Uh, they closed abruptly because of the uh, coronavirus pandemic. So uh, it was supposed to be an emergency plenary uh, yesterday as lawmakers converged on the House of Reps. Now, Three notable uh, issues were discussed on the floor of the House. First of all, the effort of the federal government was appraised by uh, members uh, of the House. Remember that uh, the federal government, uh, within the last, uh, the presidential task force, uh, within the last few weeks, had received criticism from Nigeria because Nigerians felt that uh, the presidential task force and the NCDC, uh, NCDC has not been testing enough Nigerians. A country of about 200 million people, Nigeria still has not been able to test up to 15,000. And sometimes when you, when you look at the efforts of the NCDC and the presidential task force, you, you'll be tempted to say they are doing a lot. But when you compare those efforts to countries like Senegal, Egypt, South Africa, you know that Nigeria is still a long way off the mark. The House yesterday uh, commended their effort, but agreed that they will set up their own uh, team to be able to uh, provide stimulus to the efforts of the presidential uh, uh, tax force. Then also the House looked at the case of Kanu. The House deliberated on uh, approving a 15 billion naira intervention fund for Kano. Right now, it seems Kano is going to be the epicenter of the coronavirus pandemic because in the last few weeks, uh, most of the northern states around Kano that have confirmed their index cases. Uh, the reports have been people from Kano migrated from those states to their states. You talk of Adamawa, you talk of Nassau, you talk of Gombe. And so you see, the Kano is a source of concern. And if you, if you juxtapose it with the number of deaths in the state in the last two weeks, you find out that Kano, indeed, the fear is that Kano might be the epicenter of the coronavirus pandemic, considering the fact that uh, states like Lagos are trying successfully to manage theirs. They have in, in health infrastructure in place. Kano cannot boast of these same capacities or capabilities. All so right. the House deliberate. The motion was moved by Honorable Alassane Dogua, and the House deliberated on how they will approve these funds to get Kano up to speed. Because whether we like it or not, if one state has that problem of the pandemic, of not being able to contain the pandemic, it will affect other states. Okay, and let's talk about the invitation uh, to the NCDC and some other uh, parastatal uh, for an update on the COVID-19 um, uh, situation. Uh, could you tell us what could, what was the reason uh, for this invitation? No, I, like I said earlier on, the, you know, the, the, the work of the National Assembly is to, uh, is to appraise the efforts of the federal government. So the invitation by the NCDC is not uh, the invitation uh, on the NCDC is not new. What lawmakers want, they wanted to have a first hand because they have not been on board. They are meant to be the, the second or the third arm of government, complementing the efforts of the federal government. So uh, Nigerians expected that that would be the first thing they would do because it's part of their constitutional obligations to appraise the efforts of the federal government and oversight it. Okay, the, the issue of the Chinese uh, treatment of Nigerians, the, the mistreatment that we saw on camera, uh, some are saying uh, there is a development to that, and there was a motion moved um, at the House. Can you tell us about that, and to what effect um, was the motion moved? 
You know, uh, the case had, had cropped up about two or three weeks earlier where videos making the rounds on social media show that uh, Nigerians who are being forcefully uh, isolated, forcefully tested, and forcefully quarantined in China. The executive arm had tried to interface with the Chinese ambassador uh, in Abuja, the, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, and the minister uh, concluded that it was misinformation. But I think the House brought up that issue because they felt that uh, due justice was not done deliberately to that issue. They wanted to initiate their own investigation. I know some lawmakers were of the opinion that uh, Nigerians needed to know how many Chinese uh, were in the country. Nigerians needed to know how many had valid papers in the country. And for those that did not have valid papers, because the Chinese are involved in a lot of industries, uh, mining, road construction, rail construction, the House, uh, some lawmakers were uh, deliberate, were suggesting that those without valid papers should be repatriated back to China, that it was ideal for Nigerians. To have a to have a record, you know, right now nobody knows the amount of Chinese in the country. So, the speculations, uh, some are saying that it's up to four hundred thousand. Some are saying that the numbers are more. But uh, lawmakers were of the opinion that first of all, going forward, we did, we needed to know the number of Chinese in the country, and then it, let's investigate. If Nigerians do not have a free hand to work in China the way uh, the Chinese have a free hand, uh, they have been given a free hand to work in Nigeria, then something needs to be done. I think it's part of the doctrine of re reciprocity. All right, Amadine, before I let you go, do you expect to see um, a, an expedited um, investigation considering the limitation in movement and the fact that the House is not like fully uh, in session uh, the, the lawmakers met, and uh, as long as the motion was moved and adopted by the House, I think actions will be taken. Remember that, like I said, this is another arm of government that has full of the Constitution empowers them. Now that the House have proposed that this is what they want to do, Nigerians will be expecting them to match their words with action. All right, Amadine, thank you very much for the work you do, and please be safe. Thank you, Felicity.